Rightio. Finish screwing the door back on again. It's not brain surgery. It's just a little cover that sits up in here. He sits up in here. Undo him with a couple of screws, top and bottom. Pull him out. Back off. Probably the easiest. Probably the bottom screw. Just watch out. There's a small washer, top and bottom. Just watch out that you don't drop your washers. If you do, just put him back on the bottom one when he goes back together. Screw him back in. And as you can see, it's works quite well. I should actually video record this before, but when you're closing the door before, this thing was starting to crack and kept on getting bigger and bigger. But no more cracks, no more door flexing, so a bit of luck. I'll get another 10 more years out of it. Oh, just as a side tip for you too on these machines, the Fish and Pike LED56AU. This fella played up for me probably about, um, probably about a year ago. The um, machine would turn on, but it wouldn't heat up. Long and short of it is, in behind the back of this circuit, in behind here, um, there's a small circuit board and it says, you know, for authorised personnel only, whatever. Um, just get into that. Um, you'll find there's about, from memory, there's about four relays. Just take the relays down to your local JCAR stock. Let's go and get four new relays, replace those relays. What those relays do is the, um, those, um, those relays, um, control the power that goes to the heater mechanism. There's a great big um, pipe that runs around the outside of the machine. Um, get those four relays replaced. It's not brain surgery. You can do that yourself with just a solder iron and a solder sucker. Replace those four relays, whack them all back together, and she's good for probably another 10 or 20 years. <laughs> probably another 10. Um, so yeah, there's an easy tip for you on your ED56AU Fisher & Pike L clothes dryer. Cheers.